Being in the military means service to our country. So I'm proud that I've trained and given a big portion of who I am. Brotherhood, selfless service, duty to the country, defending your fellow citizen, and also just a sacrifice. The military is not just our job, it's our way of life. It's not something that we just walk away from at five o'clock in the evening. When I leave work at, in the evenings at five, 5.30, I'm still accessible to my customers um, because I'm just accustomed to that level of service that you're always on. I think about the linemen who are working and serving our customers constantly. I feel like I have to be there for them because I look at them as our troops, our infantry of our workforce. We very much appreciate the skills veterans bring to our company. These people have demonstrated that they can learn in their roles in the military and we teach them the skills they need to be successful. The other things that they bring are teamwork. They've lived and worked on a team environment and demonstrated success there. They understand being at work on time, being responsible to your teammates, being responsible to your company and, and doing what you're expected to do every day. Veterans typically have a lot of different skill sets that they have that they've done in the military and sometimes we don't actually get a chance to capitalize those from human resources to security to engineering and things like that. So a lot of times, a lot of project management skills are there, a lot of adaptability is there, and a lot of resourcefulness is there. The job I did in the military was as a nuclear trained machinist mate was basically running power plant on the submarine. It gave me those skills to transition right into power production uh, on the commercial side. I'm smiling because there's a lot of similarities between the job I have now and what I had in the military. Um, now as a senior power system coordinator, I do shift work in a control center uh, where I'm looking at computer monitors, monitoring what's happening across the system. And then my role as a space operations officer was very similar. We were in a secure control center uh, doing 24-7 operations shift work. Uh, controlling satellites up in orbit in space. Coming to Georgia Power from active duty to reservist, it was a big change getting used to the reserve side with working with civilians. I do believe if my first supervisor was not there for me and very supportive, I probably would have actually quit the company. Because having that transition of trying to complete my military task and also making sure I come to work and complete my task at work was very difficult. We're not perfect when it's time to understand how this big world outside of the military works. And we're gonna be under a lot of pressure from our families, our kids, and potentially ourselves to be successful. As we settle down, new work location, new community, new church, new town. When I first joined Southern Company, I was not aware of the MVP program. And I really would have enjoyed getting to know other veterans that worked in amongst the group, whether it's at the sites I was at or even in an organization. To have a mentor to go through that understands the military, different challenges we have, and the commonalities to our work ethics. Groups such as MVP provide an excellent way for employees to feel included and to have a safe space for them to share, for them to connect, and for them to engage, and to have a real solid support system. Actually, I joined the MVP program after returning back from a deployment overseas in Iraq for a year. And it was a great help in having someone to talk to, to be able to understand what it is that I had to deal with coming back from such a stressful environment. Leaving to go serve my country and then coming back was a huge transition. You had to basically learn everything all over again. Um, pretty much learn how to work a computer all over again and relearn the programs that we use and reacclimate yourself into the work environment with your work group and your teammates to be able to communicate with them in a sense to where they wouldn't feel uncomfortable with asking you questions about your past experience in a deployment. Coming from, from my last job location to, to the company was made a little bit easier by the, the team that I came in on and their welcoming and opening feel. Like when we transfer from installation to installation, that unknown quantity of, of where you're going is made better when you know you're going to a good team. 